the transport sector is a main contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. These CO2 emissions and their impact on climate change present a huge challenge. In 2015, transport CO2 represented around 15% of all man-made carbon emissions. Every person on this planet produces on average 1.5 tonnes of CO2 emissions just from being on the move. But behind that average lies a more complex story. In the developed world, every citizen is responsible for 3 tonnes of CO2 as a result of his or her mobility. In comparison, the carbon footprint for citizens of developing economies is 0.5 tonnes per person. This is because people in developing nations travel less. And when they travel, they tend to use non-motorised modes of transport, such as walking or cycling, more often than inhabitants of rich countries. They also consume fewer goods, which means less freight. But as poorer nations develop, the emissions gap will close. Demand for passenger transport will double between 2015 and 2050. And 80% of that growth will come from developing economies. Cities will be particularly hit by the increase of transport demand. As urbanization in Asia and Africa continues, and more and more people move into ever larger agglomerations, many cities will face congestion, pollution and gridlock. Trade will also create transport headaches. As global goods exchange intensifies, the volume of goods moved around the planet will triple between now and 2050. Those goods will likely be carried by trucks, with a potentially huge impact on CO2. If present transport policies do not undergo significant change, CO2 emissions from transport will increase around two-thirds between 2015 and 2050. Even if policies are tightened, we will at best be able to maintain transport CO2 emission levels over the next decades. This is clearly not enough. We need faster innovation. We need radical policy changes. Policy changes on issues like shared mobility, changes in supply chains, even new transport modes are vital. Current policies will not be able to decarbonize transport and address the challenge of climate change. Policymakers must take decisive action now to put transport on a sustainable path.